Okay, today's travel advisory. <laughs> uh, this is what I did today. Today, I woke up extremely late. I think it's a combination of still sort of being on Omaha time, and also I'm a night owl. I always have been. And uh, C, I, I don't have anything waking me up in the morning. I, I don't have any place I have to be, so why get out of bed? And my brain says, yes, why get out of bed? But then I wake up at noon, I look outside, I think, the sun is shining. Shouldn't you be out looking at things, making some photographs, something? And I feel guilty. So I'm going to try to maybe get up a little bit earlier tomorrow. Uh, today's discovery also, and this happened before I left, it's called Blip FM. And it's interesting. You sort of become your own little DJ and you can you let everybody know what you're listening to and why or you know I mean it was just really interesting somebody on my friends list had discovered it and so I discovered it too it's free and you know for me it's just fun it's just fun uh, to play songs for people virtually I used to do it many 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 moons ago and it made me happy then, and it still makes me happy now, especially because I can play whatever I want. And that, you know, I don't like I don't like rules. I just never have. I've never taken to them, um, and they don't take to me either. So, so anyway, Blip FM, check it out if you are bored and on your computer and you like music a lot. Today, when I got outside, I attempted to retrace my steps from yesterday because we learn at the edge of what we know. And every day as I kind of go on my little travels, I do try to see some things I've seen before and add in some new things too. So that kind of is giving me an ever widening array of choices to make while I'm here. It, it really, it's kind of nice, you know, that the, you know, the things that are, were there yesterday, oh, that's what it looks like in the daylight and then, you know, um, so that's kind of what I tried to do today, and I, I retraced a lot of my steps, not all of them, because I went some new ways too, but, but it was really a very nice day, and I took a lot of photographs, and I'll be blogging those, so, you know, don't worry, you, you're not missing anything at all. Tomorrow I might videotape again, but, um, yeah, I'm getting over my fear of whipping out a camera <laughs> every time I see something interesting. <laughs> Nobody, you know, is going to look at me and think, oh, she's got a bomb or something. I'm, you know, I mean, please, uh, they, they pretty much know what well, I'm taking a po camera out of my pocket. And if they don't want to be in the photograph, then they can, you know, dodge. Um, but most people just have completely ignored that fact. So, uh, so lovely, you know, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, well, of course, I'm having a good time with it, so. Some things are open on Sunday in Braunschweig, by the way, but they're mostly restaurants, mostly places that serve food. Most of the, most of the shops are closed. Uh, some of them are open, but but the great majority, I think, of, of shops are closed, and, and just some of the restaurants are open. So when I went downtown today, I was able to kind of find a few things open, and, and I was able to kind of look around and stuff today again, too. So that was nice. So also... Um, it's my week anniversary here in Braunschweig. Actually, actually it was last night, but uh, today, you know, it's the end of a week, so I'm going to say it's week anniversary. And I was kind of mulling that over today. I was waiting for some some of the, you know, the tram stops, and I, I was just kind of hanging out and thinking about the expanding of horizons and uh, what value that is having for me. For me, my personality is that uh, when I get bored, I'm done. I'm sorry. I, when my pulse gets below a certain level, I gotta move on. And I know that most people aren't like that. Most people kind of like this, you know, this sort of structure and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And I like structure too, but when I've seen everything that there is to see, then I, I, that's it. That's it for me. And Omaha, it's something that I've been uh, I've been living there for a long time, and I think I've just seen probably about everything there is to see, and maybe a few things I shouldn't have. Um, yeah, and so it was kind of high time to to get out because I don't take vacations either. I you know maybe two three days here or there, 
but I don't I don't really go places and see things. I don't really travel. So I'm hoping to change that. But, you know, that's kind of the way it's been. So so I was just kind of thinking about what was the best travel advice that I received. And uh, because I'm a person too, who, I, and I think I talked about this earlier in another post, I wanted to have it all figured out by the time I got here because I didn't want to get taken by a bad phone rate or, you know, something terrible happening to me or a bank guard getting cut off or, oh my God, you know, I mean, just the, the millions of things that can happen when you're overseas. And when I was taking, we took a German day long course uh, back in Omaha and our I was chatting with our professor as we were going to grab you know wait for the pizza guy and she said I said I mentioned to her that I was afraid and she said well what what could possibly happen there that can't happen here and that kind of put some things into perspective for me but I think that the best travel advice that I got was you know just just you just need your passport. You need your passport and just go. You you have the ability to figure it all out when you're there. You don't have to plan every single thing ahead of time to avoid every mishap that could possibly happen. Because if you live your life that way, you're just frightened all the time. <laughs> Which, you know, I have a tendency to get that way once in a while, but uh, I think that was the best travel advice. Uh, that and the people who said, yes, I will be on the other end of the line when you call. And if you call sobbing, then I will still be on the other end of the line. Uh, I need that kind of support sometimes. Seems seems I should be old enough to just be over all this, but I'm not. So we'll just deal with it like it is, shall we? Okay, so tomorrow's potential. Uh, I know that I had said some potential for bowling today, but we, you know, that we did never hook up. So, uh, so possibly, you know, we're just going to put that in the future. It sounds hilarious. So... I'm so ready to go. But tomorrow's potential, I was thinking about, because some people have written me asking me what they could put into a care package for me. And I was thinking that, well, I was thinking of some items, but then I was also thinking, uh, the thing that I miss the most, and this is odd, is, uh, well, of course, everybody back home. I love you. I love my dog. Um, uh, yeah. But if, if it's a thing, then the, the thing that I miss the most is my guitar. Now, during when I am in school, my guitar doesn't get played very much. In fact, if you run your finger across it right now, there might be some dust. Um, but I love playing. I love it. It just relaxes me, and, and, uh, and I love it. And so, and so I was just thinking, you know, I mean, it, it would have been just ridiculously prohibitive to try to carry my guitar here. Duh. I mean, duh. Financially, weight-wise, everything else. Just not smart. But there might be a nice second-hand shop around here or somebody who rents instruments out or something. So I think that tomorrow I might spend some time attempting to hunt down a guitar that I can borrow for a couple of months because I can practice a couple of things. I have a lot more time up here, so... Um, so I could do some things that I'm not used to doing, and I think that I would like that a lot. So that's part of tomorrow's mission. And then also, there's an art museum that I really want to go to. Uh, apparently, they have some Rembrandts in there, and I might soil myself uh, and or cry if I stood in front of one of his paintings. I love Rembrandt. He was a guy who just... He just laid down layers of paint and started messing in it. You know, I mean, it wasn't some carefully thought out structured process. It was, let's get some tubes and let's go. And I love his paintings. I mean, his, it, he, the way he treats light, it's just beautiful stuff. So I'm going to attempt to see as many things as I can see. If I can videotape inside the museum, I shall videotape. I, uh, I love art. I love art, and it's been a long time since I've looked up any of these things, so so this will be very exciting for me. Um, but, you know, or I will do whatever the moment calls for tomorrow. Whatever is happening, I will respond to that. Uh, I will videotape if I can. If I can, I'll take a picture. If I can't, I'll just try to remember, but, you know, <laughs> I don't know. Um, so, so, yeah, that's it for today. Love to you all uh, out there in 
video blog land, Facebook land. Um, I hope that you're having a, a lovely day, and uh, and with that, we're just going to call it.